Hello YouTube, in this video I'm gonna give you a small glimpse of what my PC looks like while telling you how to make it look like it. Sounds cool? Looks pretty cool too I see. Okay, firstly this is not a Macintosh. It is clearly Windows 8. I can give you proof for that. Check this out. If you go into properties, there. Okay, you see it's Windows 8, 6 GB RAM and all. I think that's pretty good for a laptop what two years ago but yeah this is a laptop so things might be a little stuttery because of the video recording but it works pretty well moving on let's introduce you to fences fences here is something that compiles all the stuff you want in a certain way like on a mac there is not much to see on the desktop like this that's all you double click you can see all the rest of the stuff that you want to it's pretty neat I'd say. Categorize stuff. You can also make folders. I made them invisible right now because I didn't want them to be visible to anybody else. Like it just destroys the feel. Okay, moving on. We have spotlight. Spotlight right here is perfectly working. Check it out. Okay, if we go into downloads here, I will search for it. Please wait and there it is. All of it works. Images this that it all works like seriously it's pretty neat next i like to show you notifications it does not work at all the icon is fake everything is fake it's just a dummy it's just for sure it doesn't actually do anything moving on you must have noticed this it's the find the bar there's something called object bar and it works the way you want it to like in a real mac this is a theme on it, but yeah, it's very accurate. I designed it pars partially. And this search right here takes you to files, the Windows 8 normal search, and Mac help just gives you the help window. All of this also works. This is neat. It works the way you want it to. It's pretty cool. This is the username. Everything can be edited right here, like username behavior display you can show text only text and icon like this you'll have to you will have to give it an icon but yeah you can edit all of this this is very cool and about smack all these buttons work this is false information it just does not happen to go above that you can refresh it by a software update but yeah it doesn't work all the time software update takes you to apple.com mac app so i think it takes you to itunes system references is a dummy it does not do anything it's just for show you click and config you click and show all it will take you to control panel okay here you see these three they work very well and they work the way you want them to like this is something called window blinds it's in the link in the description that i gave you it's going to lead to a pdf file which will just show you how to do this all so it's transparent i made it transparent i didn't teach you that because it can make your computer pretty flimsy like it can make it crash all the time and that's not fair so it'll just be like it is in mac os x lion or something all of that works moving on we have something called the launch pad check this out launch pad is right here it works perfectly fine you can edit an icon shortcut settings and all that you can change its location you can add it and create a folder like this new folder you can remove it and it'll be back to normal what next we have mission control which is something called switcher which also works very well like check it out switcher right here works perfectly fine this switcher you click on hide and you control and take it to a screen hot edge and it'll work hot corners work in this thing it's very nice and it just makes it a dock according to what i want it to do okay next is the dock the dock is object dock it works perfectly fine and it gives you all the animations that you want it to check this out for example this is genie effect live and working there you go start three again as i said i'm recording a video so a little sucky but 
I don't actually care about that. It does the job for me. Okay. Next, what I want to show you is Finder. It's basically Explorer. Just a little editor. Like I've changed the icons. You can also do that if you right click on this. Properties. And chain library icon. Oh, I can I not do that? That's not fair. Like here. Okay, I cannot do that. I don't know. Anyway, I did do that again, but yeah, it's pretty doable. This I will not teach you how to do like add tabs and all. It's going to make it crash. Rather not. Just a second, it's hung up. So let me fix that. Okay, so I close the window. Moving on, we have the calendar right here it also happens to work pretty well it, you can add everything it's an older version of it but you can't find the new one it's not there i don't know why you can use stuff like rain cal and all but they just don't do the job so this is pretty good i said it gives you the look next we have contacts contacts also works perfectly this is my information if you want it you can take a screenshot or anything but yeah it works perfectly too we have something called stack you might have noticed it in mac it works the same way as you want it to and it's very nice check it out open and find it and it will actually do that for you okay now just a second yeah i am saying that this is not meant for anything except windows 8 like it won't work on Windows 7 perfectly because then you'll have a problem looking for start. Start button on the keyboard will work the way you want it to because it brings up the Apple menu, which is alright I'd say, but control escape works, which is okay. Other than that, I want you to know that I will hold no responsibility of your computer messing up or anything of that sort. It shouldn't do that because I've created this in a span of three years entirely by myself and a little work was done by RN Bhuti Raja, a friend of mine. This contains no viruses, I made it myself. The icons are there, I'll just show you, like PNG and these are the new icons. These are the old icons and they're all available through Google Drive, I've given you the link in the description, you can look down below. And so it's completely virus free the links have been uploaded by me through my account Galvin Narula on Google Drive so they'll all work 100% you can also uninstall anything you don't want and the icons of the computer will not change at all unless you want them to and you can change them back to their original things it's pretty good like transformation packs ruin your computer this doesn't do that it's just a set of programs it's better so leave a like subscribe you don't actually have to subscribe because i don't actually upload a lot of videos or if i do i don't but yeah thanks for watching bye